This conference will now be recorded. So as we have seen, okay, right uh, in the previous session, basically that we had dropped abruptly. So what we have to do first, uh, we have to go to the HTTP proxy. So we have two modes of recording. So first we have recording via browser that we call as HTTP proxy. Then we have har converter. Here what we do, we convert the har scripts okay so let us see so here in the top right we have the option of selecting HTTP proxy or har converter so uh, I am showing the har converter for right now because I have to change the proxies but I will let you know the HTTP proxy so if your browser is listening in some port give the port over here change the proxy of the browser if your application is secure with the HTTPS or username password, you can give it there. Here we have two options whitelisting and blacklisting. So what whitelisting does whitelisting is for allowing and blacklisting. If you are want to remove, let me first clear this. If you want to remove the static calls that you are recording, basically the in the web HTML part of recording, you can click on no static resources it will just clear the static resources of any of the static calls okay i'm clearing it right now so i'm going for har converter i already have one har okay i am giving you giving it first everyone is aware how to create a har of a application or i need to Tell that also, please acknowledge. Anybody who is not aware of creating the har and wanted to know, okay, fine. I am assuming everybody is aware. I am giving the class name. Here, class name is class underscore gatling underscore training underscore may. 09 okay only i'm giving the name class name package is already i have package created so simulation folder file i am copying it okay now if you come down Here's the option to start create. Okay, you got a message that successfully converted hard file to the Gatling simulation. Okay, let us go there. See what is the class name Gatling train. So same Gatling train simulation has been created. If you are running it through, you don't have the ID, then it will be present over the simulation folder part that is over here. So once I'll paste this, you go to package name. What is your package name? R demo. I have entered a package name, and you got your Scala file. That is gatling train dot scala if you don't have id for now just for the learning purpose you can edit with notepad plus plus now we have a script created through the har converter okay there is a package name so there is a proper architecture of this 
script which we have like we have headers we have request we have request over here let us try to see how gatling runs and checks because uh, i have to make you understand you have to go through the basics to understand the scripts the architecture the framework of the scripts uh, so going forward this is we we'll look into it for so but since it's the first session you must be willing to see how gatling run the test and generate a report i will show you one existing test case since i have integrated it i'm running it for now this complete session this complete framework setup and execution will be learning how to set up this how the installation will be done how to create the scripts in the id going forward uh, right now which tool is open on the screen okay uh, this is uh, intellij intellij yeah just i am running a gatling script through the intellij that's all you can run it through gatling.bat also that i showed you but the thing is that my system was getting hanged so that i don't want to get it hanged again that's why i'm not running it you can see the recorder i ran it from there my system got hanged so it's basically taking the local resources right and um, this gatling.bat file once you run it you will get the simulation over the file i'll show you this tomorrow okay 10.demo is some error okay Okay, so once you run the simulation, it will give you the option like which simulation you have to run. Okay, once you let us suppose I am choosing, okay, I'm choosing the simulation number nine. Now it will, okay, description I have given test. Now wait, maybe the scripts will fail. Answer, okay, it passed. Okay, fine. you saw the test is completed and one report is generated okay and now i'll copy this report path i'll go to the browser okay so you can see one report html report is generated over here which gives the request information so how to read this report how to analyze this we'll speak about it later this is just how the reports are created after running the test so coming back to the ppt
so you saw like how we recorded how we ran the test so we'll look into it in depth again but uh, first uh, we need to understand the scripts and for understanding the scripts you need to understand the framework and how it works so a script structure uh, so a script is uh, divided into four basically four main points one is one is protocol configuration so what will it will have so protocol configuration will have the base url against which you are running your test so basically if you are testing the flipkart.com so flipkart.com is a base url we need to provide the base url also we can define the user agent language header configurations connections and so on header definition header definition will have the bunch of headers which will be adding to the request when the request is being sent to the server scenario definition scenario will give a shape to request it will state like which what will be the method of the request we are making which will will it be the get post patch or delete will it have a body will it have no body okay how it it's going to interact with the application what is the page time what is the thing time everything will define is the scenario definition simulation definition will have only the number of users and ramp up and the test pattern how test will run what will be the ramp up pattern what number of users with what number of users we are running the test this all thing will be in simulation definition so here we have some of the imports this is the mandatory imports if you see here in the script basically in the notepad if i'll go on top so you can see sorry you can see some imports is already there when we did the recording some imports is generated so these are the uh, by default imports for the gatling that is required for running the gatling script so we need to mention this even if you are uh, making the script from the scratch and not by the recording now okay my script will my script is visible yeah so here is the options of what we have in the script how the script looks like after recording when we generate the script getting a script how does the recording recorder generates the script so recorder generates the script in something like that okay first is the package name okay so this is the package name okay i need to take it small yeah fine so this is package computer database is the name of the package what is the name of the package where package is nothing just the directory where we are deciding our scripts so two there are some imports so these are the mandatory imports these are the mandatory imports for the in uh, pre default for the gatling we have to do that for supporting the scripts in the gatling then third we have the class name the class name because for running we need the class so this is my the class name again we don't have to make the class name explicitly that is all done when we generate the script if you can see the generated script we already have the class name over here gatling train now the what will be the type of the protocol we are using it's again here http protocol the dot base url what is the base url we are hitting then we have some of the header configurations over here now scenario definition okay what will be the name of the scenario which request i need to run what will be the request name basically so this is my transaction name request one is my transaction name then we have the type of the request type of the request is get and doesn't have anything 
pause is the think time we'll talk about the pause later this is the think time of five seconds we are giving now setup this is basically for the load pattern that we are call as simulation over there so at once users so this one is the number of users so we are generating the number of users one and the protocol will be the http there are the different ways to uh, run the test that like we do the load test endurance test stress test so everywhere we have different configurations so we'll look into it detail in upcoming sessions so for today uh, we are pretty much done i don't want to go too much depth for the first session because it will create an ambiguity i'll use i will leverage another 10 minutes for the doubt clear simply let me know if you have some questions yeah there is an import files right so the imports are uh, defined for each every script or it is uh, import uh, once the same. tool has been installed it's mm -hmm. same same once you <laughs> same create see i mm -hmm. i have not imported anything explicitly okay i just if you see mm -hmm. here i just generated a script over here okay after in the recorder okay. when i did hard converter script generate it automatically see it's gatling train dot scala what we have generated mm -hmm. so it will automatically okay. import yes if you are writing a code from scratch in in, in intellij you have to copy paste this or if you remember you can write it yeah, actually, I'm having one doubt. Yeah, go ahead, First, please. Yeah, yeah, actually, I'm having one doubt. By the help mm -hmm. of the recording only, we can write, we can uh, generate this uh, script or, uh, by, um, or otherwise we can uh, generate the IntelliJ. No, that's... Two yeah, options that's... Thing, actually. Correct, correct, correct. So let me explain you. Okay. Where I was okay. writing. So... I told you right uh, two types of scripting we are looking into basic one we are looking into the modular and advanced one okay if I am understanding it correct you are talking about if you got some requirement of some APIs or the UIs you want to script yes. it by yes. inspecting through developer yes. tool right so for that yes. we will look into that IntelliJ okay we'll do that yeah. we'll do that type of scripting only because basic only is not the industry standard right but I cannot start okay. it abruptly because if I'll open the IntelliJ and I'll start coding, nobody will understand who don't have that background, performance background. So we are starting the basing for a couple of uh, sessions. Then we will uh, move from basic to advanced. We'll look into that only. All the scripts will be created in, through the IntelliJ only. Like if you can see, we have different modules and package where we are creating the actions uh, by ourselves yeah in simulation scala only we, we should write the script uh, i think sorry i i didn't by get giving it. yeah yeah the actually if any api is available we should write the script in simulation scala only yeah yeah see simulation uh once gatling generate the script now it will generate everything <clears throat> request scenario simulation everything you just have to put the parameterization correlation and you have to run okay but when we are doing the modular scripting there is something called a code reusability okay we will use okay. one solution to drive the multiple request we'll look into that once we go to the advanced sessions we'll use one single simulations to drive the multiple scenarios and multiple requests that's how we're gonna do okay okay and once uh, can you open the intellij i'm having a doubt in that actually yeah tell me yeah in intellij actually for uh yeah your simulation is there no in which one uh, basic simulation dot uh scala that means uh, we will get the imports Mm -hmm. Import me. file will be there, no? Yeah, here import yes. file. Here uh, Scala uh, basic uh, Scala uh, class basic Scala is there now down. Yeah. From here, yeah. From from here, val HTTP portal. From um, how can? 
uh, if you are speaking i am not able to hear you maybe the network problem hello i just have a question in the meanwhile yeah please go ahead um do you yeah, actually we should write here the script or uh, it will be generated actually no no it will be generated right so i told you right uh, in basic version everything will be generated you don't have to do anything okay and when we talk about the advanced versions it's you it depends on you whether you want to write it or you want to just uh, refer the recording and you can uh, use the auto generated code depends on uh, how compatible with are you with the tool yeah cha cha we can uh, generate by the recording tool only we can generate yeah everything in the recorder you will get uh, uh, everything now right you can see everything yeah. you will get just copy you can do copy paste also or if you are very much compatible you can write it with own basically in the going through the session i'll uh, i'll do i'll write it through the scratch i'll not do any copy paste yeah so okay, someone okay. was asking uh, the question i think uh, yeah uh, i was just asking like can you create a framework with selenium here or it's just uh... no uh, not will uh, yes selenium works in the framework but we are not using selenium here okay we will create a scala framework over here for performance basically no but will do we have generally like that like usable reusability and everything everything code re reusability is there okay. yes we have Thank you. You'll use your code every time. You don't have to run. Uh, let us suppose. Let me sh tell you how. Let you have created the simulation. Okay, you have defined the user. You have scenario created. Now let us suppose you have one existing script in in which in the last release you ran with ten APIs. Okay. Now in this current release, two more APIs I added. now you don't have to code everything once again just you need to code for t this two more apis create the request for this two more apis and you can drive it the existing code got my point right yeah and uh, is there any way you can compare the report to the baseline report like you know you run after and before is there any way to compare in scala uh, report like uh that's the utility we have to use but uh, i am not using this in this session i am not using that utility but that someone has to do with the help of their custom coding but if you want me to show you how to do it manually i'll be able to show you okay any more questions please else we'll uh, wind up for today and we'll meet tomorrow again same time